Good evening, Bill Nation. So in today's teaching, we'll be looking at practical ways to trigger favor. Practical ways to trigger favor. But before we get into that, let's go ahead and pray. But I thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to use me as a vessel to teach your word, Father. I thank you, Lord, also for Mama to entrust in us as a family and give us a platform because I know this platform that she, that we're on, she's, she's just training us. You're training us through her to be kingdom giants, to, to, to be global influence, Father. So I don't take it for granted. I take it as a privilege. And I say, thank you, my father, for giving me this opportunity. And I also say thank you to mama and thank you to the Bill Nation and to the rest of the world who are tuning in. You will be blessed today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to open with the scripture. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion. For the time to favor her, yay, the set time has come. As you see in the scripture, this is according to Psalms 103 verse 13. It is clear there is a set time for the favor of God to manifest in our lives. And that is said that true mama, he said, this is our month of, of, um, this is our month of extraordinary large harvest through favor. So if he said that it's this is the set time, and this is the scripture that I get, the time to favor us is no. This is the time for daddy to favor us. This time is here. This is our Cairo season. It is no. This is, this is our God-appointed time. This is our time to receive our extraordinary large harvest through favor. If that is said it, family, he means it. This is his word, he means it. Okay, before we go into practical ways to trigger favor, I'm just going to go over a few PowerPoints about favor. The first one I have, favor is a kingdom system of advantage. By God, it is by our daddy. He uses it to bless us. He uses men to bless us. So, so favor is a kingdom system of advantage, which is used by God to bless us through men. Favor is the willingness to make a sacrifice to make others succeed. Favor is a spiritual reaction that can be initiated. Yes, favor can be initiated. Nothing just happened. Nothing just happened. You are responsible to activate the favor of God in your life. Yes, you are responsible. You are responsible to activate the favor of God in your life. As kingdom citizen, we must know the triggers, know the triggers of favor and use them. He said, this is our month of extraordinary large harvest through favor. Do we know the triggers? Are we studying the triggers to know? If he said it, there is something we have to do on our part. And that is our responsibility to know it. He gave his word, but we still have to do our part. Like I mentioned before, nothing just happened. We have to stop, sit down, and wait to be favored. Favor doesn't come like that. If favor came like that, everyone would be favored. We wouldn't have one form of impossibilities, no setback, no nothing. Because what? It would be automatic. But sorry to say, favor is not automatic. Favor is not automatic. We have to initiate favor. Let's be the first. You, me, be the first to take the initiative and trigger your favor. Don't just sit and wait and say, this is my month of, of um, extraordinary large harvest through favor. It's not just going to come like that. No, no, 
We have to do our part. We have to take the initiative, know the keys. Our, our kingdom is a kingdom of keys. And once we know the keys, life will become easy. This kingdom is not hard. This kingdom is easy. This kingdom is a practical kingdom. We know the keys and we do it and tremendous result. It doesn't cost us any money. We don't have to go buy these keys. These keys are in the word. These keys are in the word. So let's look at a few keys. Key number one, honor. Honor. Honor is a practical way you can trigger favor. As kingdom citizens, we must be the world's greatest example of honor. We should be easily identified by the way we honor people. The word of God say we must honor. The first person we must honor is daddy. Honor God. And we can see that in 1 Samuel 2 verse 30. Honor your leaders. That's in 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 12. Honor your spouse. You can't just go out and you're honoring other other. Other people, you're honoring man and woman of God. That is good. You're honoring your pastor, your leaders. What about your spouse? The Bible say you're supposed to honor your spouse. It's that you can find that in First Peter three verse seven and Ephesians five thirty three. These are ways you can you can trigger favor. Honor others before yourself. Romans twelve verse ten. Don't just honor those who are above you, but choose to honor everyone you come in contact with. After studying about ways to trigger favor, I, I look at honor so different. I have a different revelation of honor. And I'm so thankful to daddy for opening my eyes to see how powerful honor is. It is very powerful. It's a system that daddy puts in place to bless us to make our life easier, to make our life sweet. Hmm. Like I said, don't just honor those above you, but choose to honor everyone you come in contact with. It is said that you will reap the rewards. When you reap the reward, honor is a seed. I'm sorry. Honor is a seed and you will reap the reward. So whatever you sow, you will reap it. So choose to sow seeds of honor. It's to your benefit. This is a practical example of, of um, using honor as a trigger for favor. Say, um, okay, you leader. How do you speak to that leader? You have to speak to that leader with honor. Think about your tone. Are you speaking to that person with respect? Daddy is watching and these are practical keys to trigger favor. Know, know how you speak with your leader. Speak to your leader with respect. Don't just say, this is my, my, my season of, of, of extraordinary harvest through favor. But are you locking those doors with this honor? Or are you, or, or, are you using the key to open that door by honor your leader? Okay. Are you following an instruction? Because if you're not following instruction, but following instruction, that is not honor. That is dishonor. So we want to use those, those keys. You show your leader honor by following instruction, doing what your leader said. Okay, another practical example. If, for instance, you're doing something for your leader, say like for, for me, this is a practice. You're making a package. You're making a gift for your leader. Do you just do it anyhow, like you do it for everyone? No, you can. If you're showing honor, you cannot do it the same way you do it across for everyone. There should be a difference. This you. There should be a plus. There should be a plus. If you're showing honor to someone, there should be a plus. There should be a cutting edge the way you do that to show that you really honor that person. Okay, let's look at another aspect of honor say you okay this is this person is not your leader or anything this person is a stranger say you're attending an event and you're seated and then another person say this person is an elderly she this person came up 
and you know this person is standing without a seat. You don't just sit down and say, oh, I'm seated. No, you show that person honor by what? Getting up out your seat, especially for elderly person, and allow that person to sit down. You have to show people honor. You don't have to know them. They don't have to be your boss. They don't have to be your leader, your wife or husband. This is a system that daddy put in place to bless us. This is a key. This is a principle. And when we use it, we'll see the benefits. The benefits, the, 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 the system that daddy put in place for us to bless us, it's not hard. It's easy. And like I said, the benefits, the benefits are tremendous and it pleases daddy. Honor opens the door to the favor of God in our life. He cannot go against his word. He cannot. So if you say honor is a kingdom key, family, let's use it. We see it in the book of Esther. While we, when we were going through the fast, if it wasn't honor, Esther wouldn't be where she is today. We saw with Queen Vashti because of this honor, she would throw out of the, 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 the palace just like that. So we see practical ways that we can show honor and we'll receive favor. Don't just take the word and run with it. This is my, I know I'm saying this over and over. Don't just take the word and say, this is my month of favor. This is my month of favor. This is my month to use my keys to trigger favor. All about that. You have to do your part. Okay, let's move on to another, um, another trigger for favor. Integrity. You must. Even me, I'm talking to myself, so let me say we. We must be a person of quality by having strong moral principle. We're not supposed to back down for anything. We must refuse to compromise when we are faced with a challenging situation. Refuse to compromise. We must stay with the word. Once we stay with the word, we will attract favor. Like I said, this is a principle that he put in place and he cannot go against his word. Stay with the word and we will attract favor. Another, another principle, another key I'm looking at is consistency. Be stable with living the kingdom life. Don't be a believer one day and the next day you own. Oh, I'm not sure if I believe, maybe I believe, maybe I don't believe. We have to be consistent to, 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 to be productive, to make progress in this kingdom. He said this is our, this is our month of, of, of extraordinary large harvest through favor. Don't get up one day and believe and the next day you don't believe. No, we have to be consistent. Within consistency, that's where the power lies. He said, a double-minded person is on and will not receive anything. So check your consistency level. Are you being consistent with this word? Are you being consistent? We have to be consistent in order to see favor. Choose to believe the word. This is our month of extraordinary large harvest through favor. Believe it, family. Speak it and watch it come to pass. So now I'm going to number four. Value. If you want to attract favor, make yourself valuable by investing in the word. The word can make you the most favorable person on earth. The word can make you into someone you not even dream possible. The word can make you into someone that will even shock yourself. Make yourself valuable by investing in the word and prayer. In educate yourself in areas that you are called. I'm talking to myself too. I must educate myself in areas that I am called. Invest in yourself through reading. Like mama always tell us, if we don't have time to read a physical book, Listen to audiobook. Listen to other men and women of God who already made it. In Hebrews 6, 12, he said, be followers of those who through faith and patience inherit the promise. 
this is true. We have to follow their example. Strengthen your gift. Make yourself value by strengthening your gift. What are you good at? Strengthen it by learning, by educating yourself. Because your gift will make room for you. Your gift will cause door of favor to open to you. Through your gift, men will favor you. Okay, let's look at another example of quality relationships. Not just any relationship. Make sure you have quality kingdom relationships. Have two or three quality relationships where they could be a, a kingdom brother, a kingdom sister, who will support you as you live your kingdom life. We see this in, 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 in Luke 1, verse 39 to 49, with Mary and Elizabeth. This is a perfect example of a kingdom relationship. In our kingdom relationship, relationship, in, in, in our kingdom, always look for ways to be a blessing in your relationship. I learned this from mama. Be a blessing in your relationship. First through prayer, pray for the person. If you don't have what to give, pray for the person. If there are ways you can give material things, give it. Whatever you can give, give it. So seed, because whatever you sow, you reap it. Invest in your kingdom relationship. When you invest in your kingdom relationship and nurture it, you will be favored. The relationships that you're in today, it could, listen, it could be that bridge that daddy will use to connect you to your destiny helpers. Those destiny helpers that will favor you. Do not minimize your relationships because maybe. The, the person you're in a relationship with, there's less, they're less fortunate. They might not have it. They, 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 maybe they're more a taker than they're a giver. Invest in your relationship. I, I remember when I, when, anyway, I'm not even, it's okay. We're recording. All right. So let's move on to, oh, I'm going to do another, another key, another key, another practical way. Another practical way is through prayer and fasting. Prayer and fasting is another kingdom key that will trigger favor. We saw it in the book of Esther. If you go back, I know everyone, almost everyone in here were a part of the fast. So go back and read Esther chapter three and four. We saw that Esther and the entire Jewish community they fasted, and because of the because they prayed and they fasted, the king favored them. What if they didn't fast? What if they didn't pray? Do you think anything will happen? No. What What if they get them? They're like, okay, so this is what they're going to do to the entire Jewish people. But I will not do anything because they got my word. Do you think anything would have happened? No, I don't think so. There are keys that daddy put in place to bless us. And once we know these kingdom keys, family, we have to use it. We have to practice to use it. It is to our benefit. It is to our advantage. We are not normal citizens. Our keys, they are not physical keys. They are spiritual keys. And they're put in place to bless us. As I was studying and listening and learning about favor, I come to this understanding and I said, Daddy is so loving. Daddy didn't just put us on earth to suffer. No. If you are suffering, there is something that you are missing. You lack understanding if you are suffering in any area. You, are, you lack understanding. As I, I, it came to my understanding, Daddy put favor in our life to bless us. Favor is not something that we were like, oh, I wish I could be favored. It's not something that, 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 that just happened once and that's it. No, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. We should live a lifestyle of favor. 
favor makes our life easier. Daddy put it in place to make our life easy. But like I said, if we don't know this, he will suffer hardship when we are not supposed to. We are not supposed to. We are not supposed to. And I came to the understanding. I am so grateful for Mama to, to, to open, us the, open up this platform for us to study and to teach because I've learned so much about favor. Favor gives you the cutting edge above anyone else because you're a kingdom citizen. You are not normal. You are not normal. No, you are not. We are not, but we have keys. We have keys that we have to use to activate the favor of God in our lives. He give us the Bible as a manual. We have to search it and do what is instructed because if we don't do it, will not get anywhere. You'll just sit at the back bench of the kingdom. You'll just sit at the back bench, make no progress because what? You don't know what the word says. You don't know the kingdom principles. You're not doing it. But we have to know the kingdom keys. Practice it and do it and watch our lives, lives escalate. Watch our life make progress. That he said the path of the just is like a shining light. It keeps going brighter and brighter until the perfect day. But it's not just going to happen by our sin. We have to know those keys and activate the key. Use the keys and watch the keys open up so many doors. And watch your favor of God manifest in our life. And our lives will be beautiful, family. Thank you for listening, Donation. Amen.